Because this guard is stocked so quickly, if you want an ultralight, then yes, you should buy the Phantom immediately. Make sure you get the discount using the code RJN. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, let me explain why. So this is just another ultralight, but with a different coating. It's painted, but all of them are unique because the splatter is real. This means your Phantom should be like no other. But that's not the important part. The important part is the cable. That has been my number one problem with the ultralight, which is otherwise a solid competitive FPS mouse. This is what the old cable looks like. It's actually quite bad, maybe even one of the worst. And now, watch what happens with the new one. It's amazing. This thing is incredibly soft and flexible. I've tried it with and without a mouse bungee, and I barely know it's even there. A lot of companies are now going for wireless, but honestly, this pretty much feels wireless. It really is that good. I'm a big fan of the new Razer braided cable, like on the Basilisk. Definitely one of the best around, but watch the difference in movement. In the pushback tests, they seem similar, but when you actually feel them, the Phantom cable feels a lot softer and more flexible. It really is so different to other cables. I've been using it a fair bit and love it, but of course we'll see how things go. We'll test it over months, maybe years. If this kind of cable turns out to be durable, then I'd say this is close to perfect. So Final Mouse took the criticism and went from one of the worst cables to maybe even the best cable. I hear the Phantom is going to be more expensive, but considering people have been paying for third-party cables, and doing the installation themselves, this seems worth the extra money. Just a quick note on mouse bungees, when putting cables in, here's a technique you can use. Hold the cable down at the back, then gently pull it forward and let it slide in. Also pull it down a bit. This cable is so soft it's really hard to just press in, but I found this technique works on other cables too. And on the Zowie Kamade, you can hold it at the front and slide it backward. For those who aren't familiar with the ultralight, it's basically a large mouse with a great shape. It only weighs about 71 grams. The cable was pretty much the only thing holding it back. That was why I just could not give it number one on the top 40. So with this video, I'm going to give the Phantom its own place on the top 40. It now gets number one. And if they ever release a smaller version, I would definitely use that as my main. If you have the right hand size for this, lucky you, I'm envious. I'll leave a link to the other ultralight videos in the description. So check those for the full review, which includes the hand size guide. As for the other mice that don't have this new cable, they're still really good. But if you have the money and you can get the Phantom, I would definitely recommend that. But as always, no matter what the mouse is, you have to find the one that suits you. Just a lot of people are switching to this one because it is so good. So I hope that helps for now, and I hope you can get one before they are sold out. Good luck, like and share this video after you get yours, and I'll catch you in the next.